Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. So, I actually forgot to record an intro, so uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll get into this. Uh, not much of an intro, but it's just going to be charity shop hunting. So, uh, here I am in Nutsford, actually, and we're going to see whether I can actually do this all in one take with the uh, voiceover. So, I'm in Nutsford here. Um, I think I went to auction viewing on this particular day. Um, and I'm just having a look at, uh, around the charity shops here. There was that mouse that you saw just a second ago that I was wondering on. However, I didn't have any data left on my plan, so I just kind of ignored it in the end. And there's a couple of bottles there that look pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so now we're moving on to some of these books. I, I wasn't really going to buy these books, but I just thought they looked pretty cool. I'd never seen them before, and I, I, you know, I'll go through a lot of children's books at the charity shop, so uh, it was quite cool to see them. They're quite nice. Don't know whether they were like special editions. And here is like a Playmobil Zoo thing, but it had no figures or anything, and I thought for one ninety nine, it's probably not worth it. I mean, if I could get some figures for 10p, 20p from the boot sale, you know, maybe it's worth it, but I, di I didn't go on it in the end. So, I'm just having a look around, just scanning through everything, mainly the children's books at the moment, uh, but in this particular charity shop, a lot of stuff is kind of overpriced. You can see I've lost focus on the camera there. Um, but yeah, so I'm just having a look at the pictures again. Um, it is an Oxfam, this charity shop, an Oxfam uh, are notorious for uh, basically being a little bit overpriced, let's say. Um, so yeah, basically I'm just looking through the DVDs as I normally do, just going through to see if I can see any sealed ones, um, and then I would scan them in. However, as I've just mentioned, I've not got any um, data on my plan left, so I don't really know what I did when I was actually picking out the sealed DVDs on this particular day, because it was a few days ago now, um, but I must have just kind of had to go off instinct if I did buy any of them. Um, but yeah, I'm just having a look through, seeing if there's any sealed ones or any that just appeal to me. Always look out for niche DVDs, all that sort of stuff. Uh, not just sealed DVDs, because obviously there's DVDs to look out for that, you know, can be used and that can be really good money. Uh, I'm just picking out a couple of the sealed box sets here. Wondered whether that was worth anything, maybe. Um, and yeah, but mainly at the top, actually, yeah, here we go, I'm going up to the top now. Uh, there's basically box sets and video games and all that sort of stuff um, at the top. And um, I always seem to have a look up there, although they are quite high prices at the top. Um, a lot of the sealed box sets, you know, if you're looking at a sort of 5 to 7 disc or maybe even a 10 disc DVD box set, they price them at $9.99, $12.99, $6.99, and it's just not worth it in most cases. However, you've always got to remember that some of these DVD box sets are going to be worth it, even at $6.99, $9.99, because some of them are going to be 30 40 50 quid on, on Amazon FBA. So always have a look. Don't just disregard them. Um, but yeah, in this particular shop, it is quite... Um, high priced as I mentioned just having a quick look through these little bins of plush toys because it's always worth having a route through these you never know what you're gonna find so um, yeah but as you can see I think I don't know whether that was $7.99 that was priced up at then or uh, whether it was one ninety nine, but if it was seven ninety nine, that's a bit OTT to be honest. But that's Oxfam for you. Um, so it looks like we're going to be moving on in a second, yeah. So this is just a box outside. All of the books were one pound. I thought I'd have a, just a quick route. Um, and then I was looking for the CDs in another another charity shop in my local town. Actually, um, basically, I want to do a video of. You know, um, buying something for a pound and flipping it and then using the profit from that to flip into something else and see how much money I can make from what essentially was a single pound. So I was just looking through the DVDs because we're at CDs because we're a pound. Again, more one pound items outside the charity shop. So just having a look in there. Oh, here we go. We've got uh, we've got shoe shopping now. On to shoe shopping. It's amazing how long my mum spends browsing the shoes. I mean, look, she literally... She, she just looks at the shoes forever, it's ridiculous, but thank God there was a husband chair anyway, I managed to get a bit of a sit down after all that, so I was quite happy. Um, but yeah, so moving on now, um, we're looking at the DVDs, I absolutely love this charity shop because there is a seat right next to the DVDs, and I can just sit down and have a nice little inspect of them, 
um, and do my little sealed media swipe as you can see here with my hand going across looking for any sealed DVDs so yeah quite cool it's always nice when you can get a sit down in your charity shop as well while you're looking it's just a bit of a bonus really I looked at that Night Rider uh, DVD box I think if that was sealed it might have been worth going on but I don't know whether I actually looked into that uh, come to think of it so now I wanted to get on to the topic of the video which is higher prices in charity shops you can see there that there's a piece of fat lava in the cabinet there um, and it's 14 99 now that retail uh, and again you'll see in the coming clips a lot of higher priced items this is Alfred Meakin sorry about the focus on the camera it's an Alfred Meakin bowl I think about art, art deco -y, that sort of era £8.50 um, and yeah I just feel like a lot of things in charity shops now they're putting the prices off. I mean, that fat lava piece you just saw was $14.99. That is retail on eBay, if not more than retail. Now, we all know that charity shops price things high. It's no secret, you know, we've been doing this for, for years since I actually started reselling. Um, but, you know, it feels like I'm finding less in charity shops every time I go in. Every time I'm doing a run of my local charity shops, I'm only picking up a couple of items. Whether it's the fact that they're putting them on their own eBay stores or just generally charging more, I'm not sure. But I did want to point out the fact, I mean, look at this tea set here, lovely World Alton tea set, but they are charging 65 quid for it. Now, I didn't look up this particular tea set, it could have been worth more, but um, yeah, it seems 65 quid, that is a lot, that must be retail. Again, 39.99 for that Warhammer board game, quite ridiculous to be honest, but... That's, you know, it's their prerogative to charge that much, so they can if they want to. Anyway, we're coming to the end of the video now, but I just wanted to ask you guys whether you feel that maybe charity shops are uh, starting to charge a little bit more, or whether it's actually harder to find stuff, and maybe you have to go to uh, £1 shops more often, or donation centres. Um, and yeah, we'll just leave it there. So it's an open-ended question. Uh, please feel free to uh, drop a comment down below with your answer, and uh, I will see you in the next one. See you very soon, guys.